All right, so I'm tell the story of my lot lizard experience or truck stop prostitute. Um, I was in Tampa, Florida, ran out of my driving clock, so I'm out a lot of hours, and I found these two truck stops to parallel from each other, right? There's a TA on this side, a pilot on that side, and uh, I was trying to park. They didn't have any parking, so I'm like, all right, I gotta find somewhere else to park. So I found this uh, small truck stop on Google Maps down the road. I go over there, all out of parking too. I'm about to leave there trying to find somewhere else to go. And I notice out the corner of my eye, there's some trucks across the street at this little motel, right? So I said, perfect, I could sleep over there. So I get over there, I start backing into this trucking spot. Two women in this little uh, Hyundai sedan. They, uh, they're looking at me, right? And they're just kind of staring. I'm like, okay, at first I'm thinking, maybe I can impress them with some backing skills because maybe a guy back in the trailer is kind of impressive. I don't know. So, backing it up. And they're looking at me. I'm just kind of smiling and whatnot. Backing it up. And then they, they're they smiling back. And they're doing a little, like, the little girl wave where they finger, like, flutter their fingers and stuff. And I was like, all right, cool. You know, that's, uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. You know, get somebody's attention. I don't even, you know, I ain't been here two minutes. So, anyway, she come over and she wanted my phone number. And I ain't know the situation, all right? I, I'm gonna be honest, I might have goofed up on this one. But anyway, so she gives my phone number. And uh, I, try, I try to go check in for the for a room. So I can, you know, get a shower for the night, so on and so forth, and have somewhere to sleep. So I'm trying to get this room checked in. And this, this hotel is like so run down and just like, it, it, it's one of them spots that you know it, it's, it's kind of hood it's kind of in the ghetto it's a real dangerous spot you know what i mean reminds me a little bit where i grew up so uh anyway i uh i can't get it I, you can't even go in the lobby you you gotta like knock on the window and then they come to it like some kind of drive through check-in hotel service man it, it was really really something else so i'm doing all that and then while i'm doing that that girl keep blowing up my phone right she bzz, 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 bzz. i'm like dang what the I ain't no, uh, I just met you. We, we, I ain't, ain't no concern I have for you. That life threatening right now. You like to where you should be blowing my phone up like this. Uh, uh, uh. no, uh, uh. So, uh, anyway, she kept blowing my phone. Finally, the phone quit ringing, but it was like five missed calls and shit. All within like thirty seconds of me meeting her. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, nah. Anyway, I done told her like, hey, I gotta get a room. Like, I, I need a shower. Long day of trucking and stuff. You know, I, mm, it's hot out there. So, uh. Uh, I'm trying to get a room. A woman telling me behind the counter, she said, uh, we ain't got no more rooms. And I was like, well, can I at least park here? Because, you know, if you drive trucks, you know how hard it is to find parking in a crowded area. You're like, you just want to park the truck. You can, you know, that, that's, that's all you care about. You can Uber to anywhere else. And uh, I was like, can I at least park the truck here? And she said, nah, you can't park. The, the parking's only for if you have a room. I was like, but you ain't even got a room. I'll pay for the parking if I can have just the parking, but you won't sell me a room if I need a room for the parking. Logic, yeah. So, uh, so finally she over here playing on the computer after me telling her like, man, ain't nowhere else I can go. You know, is there any other place for some parking, something? And then she's like, oh, I found a room right here. And she told me $80. I said, $80? Man, uh, you know, whatever, I bought it, so. Uh, I'm walking back to the to the uh, to the room where she told me. She's like, "Yeah, it's right around the corner." And so I'm walking over there, and there's a woman. This is like six o'clock in the afternoon, six thirty-seven ish. You know what I mean? Like the sun's still out. It's in the it's late in the evening, but the sun's still out because it's like I think summer now. Yeah, it's summer. So anyway, this woman she looked to be about late thirties, early forties maybe, and she just all like sprawled out like this, all zombied out on the steps. You know the metal steps that go from the first floor of the motel to the second story of the motel? You know what I'm talking about? Them like old uh, steel metal steps and stuff that I don't think are comfortable for lounging on, but I, I think that woman would argue the point with me because she was all sprawled out on it. I'm like, come on. It's 6.30 on a Thursday afternoon. You ain't got nothing else better to do with your life at your age. Like, nah, she was strung out on some drugs, man. That, I mean, this, this was... I'm telling you, man, when I say it was a ghetto in a dangerous part of town, I ain't playing. And uh, anyway, I'm going back to the room. And I'm in, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to set up the bathroom, get a shower going. And they have no body towels, you know what I mean? Like a towel that you use to dry yourself off when you get out of the shower, right? Like one made for your body. You know, they had, they had a washcloth, 
and they had like four of those floor mat towels. You know the towels? They're like maybe this big, you know what I mean? And then you throw it right there in front of the shower so when you get out the shower, it doesn't make a mess everywhere and you're dripping and shit. So they only had four of those, four. That's it, that's it. And then a wash rag. And I'm like, man, y'all can't even give somebody a towel to dry off with when they get out the shower. Anyway, so I'm over here trying to take a shower and all that. And then in the meanwhile, because once I like realized they were actually, you know, uh, uh, lot lizards and stuff, and then there was two of them, right? So it's kind of suspicious because where I'm from, you don't trust anything. You don't trust nothing. Like you, there ain't no serendipity in the ghetto, all right? That is, that ain't happening. There ain't no, oh wow, look at the luck I stumbled on today when I was walking down this dangerous street. Like, no, that, that ain't happening. So anyway, I'm sending my dad my location, like my live location. I was like, dad, can you see where I'm at? And then he texts back. He says, yeah, you're next to this brewery and this bar over here, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, dad, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to flex right now. I'm not trying to brag about, hey, look where I'm at in Tampa. Like, no, it's more like, hey, can you see where I'm at in case something happens? And I was like, dad, get this address, you know, in case something happens, I want somebody to know where I was before something happened. Like, I'm trying to let's document, you know, hey, this is where I was at. You know, if you watch the Mr. Ballin videos on YouTube, man, there's always, oh, well, he just took off somewhere and we didn't know what happened to him and then they're going to miss him forever. So, you know, I'm trying to be a little smart, you know, tell somebody, hey, hey, where I'm at. So anyway, I'm like, dad, this is the address of this place. You know, can you find it? Whatever, whatever. You know, I'm really paranoid right now. I, I got a bad feeling. And uh, I, I was like, I'll call the text you in the morning. But for right now, I just need you to know where I'm at. You know, this is a real sketchy place. And, uh, and I was like, all right, all right. So he wrote it down, and, and, you know, yeah, I love you, son, and all that. And so anyway, um, yeah, I mean, it was a real sketchy situation. And, and, and the funny thing is now, because looking back, you know, it's, it's humorous because in that situation, man, you can't call the cops. See, because, you know, like I said, I'm paranoid, but there's paranoid for reasons, all right? One, they could, uh, they could be trying to take me somewhere, and then you get robbed. Two, they could be trying to come in the room I just rented and rob me. Three, you know, they could uh, they could be uh, somebody trying to just take shit out of my truck. They could be somebody, you know, they, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Uh, another possibility was they could be cops, even though they, I don't, I don't really think they could be undercover cops, no sting operation. But, you know, uh, uh, you could get a disease, even in your, like, one of the uh, better case scenarios, you just get a disease and then... Yeah, then you over here for the rest of your life. Hey, how you doing? I got a disease I'm legally obligated to tell you about before we engage. No, 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 no. Forget, forget all that. Forget all that. So, anyways, I'm kind of paranoid. Like, hey, these chicks might be kind of rob, you know, trying to rob me or something. But when you 6'1", 200, you, you can't call the cops, you know, like, hey, 911, I need help. What's your emergency, sir? Uh, th These two women are trying to sleep with me. And then they're going to be like, sir, this line is for emergencies. You know, so me, how come on man you can't you can't tell the cops that you're afraid of something that really ain't even there and that you just paranoid because then you just sound crazy or dumb or both i don't know crazy dumb but uh yeah so it's, it's like you're you're paranoid about a possibility more or less you know and uh anyway uh i call that chick back after i get out of the shower and i'm like hey what, what was so important? Like, why are you calling me so much? Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I called you? I was like, what? And so her friend in the passenger seat, I heard her on the phone. She told me, yeah, you called him a few minutes ago. Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, so what you trying to do? And I was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't trying to do nothing. And she was like, all right, then. So then that kind of ended that. And then I got a sigh of relief. Like, okay, they're not just like hunting me. You know what I mean? So I was kind of paranoid for a minute. Like, they might be in a parking lot just watching me go in and out of the room. Blah, blah, blah. And, uh... You know, like I said, it's a real sketchy hotel, so if something did happen, I doubt anybody would care, you know what I mean? Anyways, I got out of there, went down the road, got something to eat, came back uh, later on that night, and then I get out the Uber, I walk towards the room, and then there was a uh, like little breezeway where the vending is. I'm walking I'm walking by the room past that, and then somebody, some, uh, some people was underneath there, and they're all conversating, having their debriefing or whatever, how their day went or whatever they're doing. So... And one of the women's under there, she was looking at me. And we locked eyes, and she looked like she had some plans. And I was just like, nah, girl, I can't mess with you. I don't trust none of y'all around here. You know, I, don't, mm -hmm. I ain't messing with none of that. 
but uh but yeah got out the next morning no i woke up the next morning and it, it was like six o'clock in the morning yeah so it's friday 6 a.m and these walls are like paper thin man because i hear somebody blaring some loud music i don't know if it's coming from somebody's bluetooth speaker or somebody's car speaker i don't know where it's coming from all i know is this music's loud and i'm like man come on why you gotta why you gotta do this you know I ain't say nothing out loud because, you know, when you in the bad areas, you just kind of want to be uh, uh, less heard and more seen type of deal. Like, you don't want to you don't want to cause too much d disruption. So, anyways, I'm just like, man, why these people got to play this music so loud? I'm trying to sleep. I got to work today. And then I hear one dude yell to his friend or something. I can't see him, but I hear him just, hey, man, I'm about to go to the store, get a beer. You want something? I'm like, man, it's 6 in the morning. The first thing you got to do is go to the store, get a beer? I'm like, man, you gotta be productive with your life. Anyway, that was my lizard experience. That was my lot lizard experience, and uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy to say the least. A lot more paranoid. But anyway, that's gonna wrap up the video. Y'all stay safe. Uh, if you wanna hear more encounters of uh, uh, you know the road and how things go, let me know in the comments below.